Hello, I'm going to tell about Sandy Skaglund. Uh, she's an awesome artist. She's a sculptor, a painter, a set top photographer, a set designer, installation artist, and conceptual. Um, it is funny because in an interview, uh, someone asked her how she defined all the things that she does, and she said she's a team part, and I think that's very accurate. Uh, she literally do everything. And we can define her work as being multidimensional and cross-disciplinary. Something really cool about her work is that she likes to combine nature with the artificial. Um, the curator Jody Badbiron, actually, uh, she said this about her work. Her work is vis visceral with a highly charged physical presence. It is transitory, appearing frozen in time, while quickly and almost imperceptible mutation into other states of being. Her work emphasizes illusion and reality, and something that I really like about her work is like it makes you ask yourself what, what is going on in, in there. And as you look at it, you continue to discover more and more things. As I said before, she's a cross-disciplinary artist. She does everything. Um, but one of her fir first environmental um, work that she did was this one. It calls rad radiatic cats. And something interesting about this is that the reason why there are so many cats is because uh, she wanted to take this this photography. Um, all her work, she she prepare all the environment and then take a picture of it. Um, but she wanted she had this vision of putting cats in in this exhibition and take pictures of them. But there was a problem. Cats moved a lot. And for this one, she want the cat to actually not be moving. And obviously with a living cat, that's not possible. So she just decided to do the cat carousel and she start uh, learning how to scold cats in a school in general. And this was um, also what happened with um, tomorrow care more known um our pieces that she had done. So this is one the radiate cats and this one the revenge of the goldfish and fog kings. So in this um, part of her art career she uh started learning how to school so she so she can uh portray what she wants in her art pieces. This connection that she had with um animals um, actually, for her, it's like for her, animals are the connection between, between nature and, and us humans. And uh, all, all of these pieces came from her fascination with interiors and that desire that he, she had to embed them with issues and destruction, usually portrayed by animals. And, Something that I really like about this is the cows that you can see in this picture and the people that are inside and just like acting normally like, is, like nothing is happening. I love that. And I love the colorful, co the colors that she chooses for all her pieces. Something about the way that she works uh, when thinking about creating a new piece uh, and something that I really love, like is that she doesn't uh, sketch anything. Like she tried not to do that uh, because she wants to everything to be the more as, as, as spontaneously as it can be. And about the materials, if you had noticed, all the materials are kind of random. Uh, in this one, raining popcorn, uh, popcorn, the main material is parkour. <laughs> and um, something about her work, because she likes to 
explore new materials is like a new scheme for her. So when creating a new piece, she has actually had a lot of challenges um, that involve experimentation um, and see how the that product is gonna work for her art. So she actually liked to choose the material and work with them and then that's um, the material is what she based everything. Something cool about this exhibition is that she, uh, to preserve the kernel, uh, she actually bought a brand that didn't have oils in it and preservatives, and then she dip it in a, a spot safe resin, so the kernels can be um, exposed to everything and don't um, and can stay like that as she wanted. Um, she chose us to do this uh, to use the popcorn because um, is there in, in history this um, this food actually had a lot of meaning in history. It's used a lot uh, for celebration and she wanted to use it to imply the, the use that we had now um, in, our, in our lives too. Something also cool about her work is like the people that are in there, rather that they are like figures or like real humans. Um, she said that it gets a sense of scale to her work and a psychological getaway. So it's like a connection of something we know. And also raised a question when seeing a photograph, just wondering is that it is an actual people or, or no. Uh, so I think that is really cool. And actually, um, her kind of work has a name. Um, it's called Tableau, and it's used to describe a painting or photographing with characters that are arranged for picturesque or dramatic effects and appear absorbed and completely unaware of the system on the viewer. And that's what we see in all the her work, and I think that's what makes her work more uh, impactful because of all the craziness and the people are used acting normally in that environment. And we can see that in this example, um, the first hybrid. This is actually one of her more recent work. Um, and we can see how um, is uh, this actually is like the chest in between life and life life um, by the fabrication of, art, of this artificial landscape. Um, it is used pine cleaners and bars with bull fibers. Um, and actually, uh, we can see that the trees are had like human feet and legs, which is really weird, but I like it. And as we go see closer over here, the leaves of the tree are actually sheets. I think that's super cute. Okay, next, uh, I'm just going to show some of the other words so you can see the variety of her world. Walking of Edgels, um, the Cocktail Pirate, we, I think that's what Cheetos, the Cool War, Angels and Strangers, and finally Breathing Glass. And I, want just, I just want to finish with this... Um, quote that she said about her own work that I think describes really well what uh, the kind of work that Sandy does. The world of air is that inhabiting a place full of many living in entities that do not and cannot see reality the same way we do. This form of multi has always be, been disturbing me as it introduced a world chaos that we actually cannot see ourselves. Reality itself, then, is jobs that have been made presentable by the limitations of human perception. So in my work, I'm trying to show reality as it actually is, as a rupture through the fabric of our human consciousness.